I'm JJ Gustafson. When Academy tasked me to build a boat and take the top outdoor personalities in the world fishing, I was all in. Come with us and see just how many places you can take a job boat and just how much fun you can have doing it. I'm John Fishing, the ultimate boat build. Brother there, Jacob. There it is. Dude, how are we? Very good, man. I'm JJ. Good to meet Jacob, you in person. Very nice to meet you, dude. dude. Got a dang set up right here. We do. I mean, I hear you have the spot for us to go, so I got the boat. So we're looking at a 16-foot duck boat, I guess, technically is what it's called from Academy, but we've been fishing the heck out of it lately. So we've got buckets here. One's a trash can, one's dry storage where we can do whatever we want. Awesome. Swivel seat, gas, batteries. Outboard motor is the only thing we didn't get from Academy. We've got a cool little uh, system we rigged up to hold the rods up on these cleats. Light, trolling motor, and then that's a dry box there. Um, so we keep all of our safety junk and a little bit of extra tackle. There's only one thing we're missing. What's that? A fish finder. Okay. Right. Yeah, we got to add that. I think that would be perfect. All right, let's go. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Dude, let's I'm go. Ready. You let's son of a gun. Go. Don't be messing around. <laughs> we got to catch some bass today. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's go, bro. They're gonna be that transition time yeah. where they're gonna be spawning or okay. potentially trying to spawn. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you can't you can't help but not hit it. Excited, bro. No, we're right excited. there. We're right this is there. The thing, okay. I, I do think they're gonna be biting. But the only thing is, it is a cold front, so it's gonna back them off a little bit. So we're gonna figure out exactly what we need. Okay, cool. There's some good stuff in these aisles. People don't realize there's some good bass fish and tackle in the saltwater aisle. Really? Yeah, believe okay, it or not. Wait. So, so talk like, to me about that. Like, so like top water, all right, so this. So what color are you looking for? This is actually a after? speckled trout, bass or opportunities, yeah. you know? And it's so like for me, like that looks like a, potentially a baby bass or a bluegill sure. or a brim, like that'll work. All right, we got plenty of life jackets. We got squared away on that. Yeah, for sure. Maybe you grab another one of these little poppers. We're just racking it up, I love it. How much space do you think your fishing stuff takes up in your house? Or uh, garage, or I don't my know. Garage, like, my garage looks like, it looks like this. Truly? Like, literally, like no joke. We got right here is the bait section. Do you lose a lot of tackle? Do you like, do you, like get hung up a lot? Sure. Okay, we're gonna I mean, I get, I get hung up a lot. We're gonna make sure we have you, more than that. Pro. <laughs> the rods are very, very, very and they, important. And these are yours. These are mine. I mean, so. this is your deal. A seven foot, medium heavy. This is like an all around, just good rod to throw for multiple different techniques. So we want to, especially with being in that smaller boat, yeah. I think we're probably going to grab two of these. Okay. All right, so we got the rods. Yep. Let's get set up with some reels. Brought some reels, special. They're going to be in stores Ooh, some soon. Per some personal stuff. Yeah, some We're going to get to I, fish them early. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I got the casting reels. Okay. But we do need at least two spinners. All right. You want to go look at the electronics? Yeah, we definitely need to grab a unit. Okay. So we have a whole bunch of Lorance units right here. The cool thing about this is it already has like down scan, it has 2D, it has all those things, and it has GPS. So, okay. like, it's gonna be a good addition to though. Nice. Love it. Have a look. Good luck. Hey, high five. High five. Hey, it was a pleasure meeting you, man. Hey, have a good one. Good luck, man. We got snack, we got tackle. It's hard when you go to an academy, dude, you just buy everything. Bay beautiful, County, beautiful. we're here. You know how you know you're here? Uh, lots of empty boat trailers. No, no, the power plant, that's when you know, which means it's gonna be really good fishing. Because we're tiller drive, we don't have a wheel. I wanna be able to have my left hand accessible at all times. So I'm thinking it makes sense to put it somewhere where I can use my right hand as we're cruising around. Oh yeah. Dude, yeah. it's like professionals did that. this, bro. <laughs> I mean, what was that timeline? That was less than Five. seven minutes. Yeah, I bet you it was less than 10, for sure. Whoa, don't tip me. Dude, someone go give me a life jacket. Give me a life jacket now. Like, that's <laughs> before we do anything, Five. give me one of them life jackets. Take us to the promised land. I got us the first two miles. You did a heck of a good job. Oh, I gotta normally put it in gear. Does that help? Nope. Well, it would be good. But you hadn't run a tiller motor in how long? Dude, do you it's, think? it's Honestly. been a moon or two. 
A uh, couple, couple moons. Couple probably, of moons. Probably, uh, I would say it's been 10, 10 years. Really? Yeah. Idled around a little bit so far, have not found them yet, but I've been starting to see some bait out deeper. And I think that's a lot of times just spending some time looking at these units and trying to see if you can find these fish on side scan and stuff. I can see some bait down there. Dude, there's a fish. Oh, dude, there's a fish. Oh, oh, man, that's looking good. <laughs> see how they're sort of scattered along the bottom? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> buddy, not saying, but I'm just saying. Just don't say it, buddy. Evil. I mean, there's only way to, one way to find out if those are bass. From Fayette Reservoir, we're John fishing here, boys. We're John fishing. We've got power to the trolling motor. We've got our baits tied on. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a big one, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, choke Are you amazing. kidding me? Oh, that's awesome. Mm. Dude. Give me some dab. Nicely done. That's why you scout it, baby. That's right. All right, so you've been to this lake before? Yeah, I mean, this is something that's brought back a lot of memories. Just being on this lake, man. I used to come down here. My sister went to A&M. Okay. We would come down and we would fish in the wintertime and this lake was always really high on our bucket list. Okay. You know? And Why is that? Just the hot water discharge lake, number one. Number two was the fact that there's a lot of nice quality fish. Sure. And no matter what happened, you'd have that warm water that was coming in here and these fish seemed to bite on even the nastiest days. Sure. I caught them on throwing top water in here on like a snowstorm. It was, it was nuts. When was the last time you were back? It's been 10 years or so, man. Really? At least that. When I get out here, it's more so like I'm just a kid again. This lake was really a big deal. It's way before I even started fishing professionally. Sure. And it was something that uh, is probably one of my top favorite lakes in the whole state of Texas. Dude, I love that. That's, that's, that's a good start. That's a good start to break the ice. It's a fish. We'll take a fish. I fished a lot of tournaments out of a 16-foot John boat for probably until I was 18. I used to go down to the Wednesday night tournaments. It was like 20 bucks to enter the tournament. Mm -hmm. I would go and I'd have $10 and I'd be like, hey, you know, can anybody want to go fish? You know, can I, yeah. anybody doesn't need a partner sort of yeah. deal? So, so this old man, he feels bad for me and he's like, you come fish with me. Yeah. I want to say this is like 2004. And so we go out there and he goes, hey, get your butt up on that troll motor. We're in a boat about like this, okay. 40 horse. And get my boat on a troll motor. I don't I hate that running that troll motor sort of deal. So we go out there and we, we have a great day. We win the tournament. Yeah. And he's like, I don't give a dang. You're hired. You're my tournament partner from here on out. Yeah, yeah. And so I fished with that guy. Uh, his name was Greg Morehouse. And I've I fished with him since, shoot, you know, since then all the way. I, I go back home and I'll fish a tournament every once in a while. Really? Every, every time. Mess around I, with him? I go fishing with him. Dude, I love that. Something that's so cool. Oh, yeah. Dude, let's go. Switch to the spinning reel. Paid off. Had and dude, to. I mean, that's freaking on the X. It literally is right where he's at. <laughs> Take your time, you say, okay, come here. And you go, Hello. grab him like that. You say, hi, bud, how you doing? <laughs> that's how you do. Mm. Just like that. Ding. A ding. There you go. I'm gonna say it's close to three and a half. Nice. Three and a half pounder. You'd be the one to know. I, I, it might be actually close to four. He's a 397. Not quite four. <laughs> that is exactly <laughs> what he weighs. Oh, careful, careful. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. I mean, I, I mean you get, hold up, careful. Look at you. I mean, we found the fish. Now we're trying to I feel like a out. proud father right now. <laughs> Should I start calling you dad? <laughs> mm -hmm. We're John fishing. We are tied. We're tied. Two fish. Two to two. It was a number thing, not a size thing. Do, remem do remember that. Hey, 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 guess what? God, you three. Three. <laughs> three. I hated that like three so much. Oh, he's going up. Oh, come on now. Oh, he's trying to get us around with that day. You're looking for another worm, aren't you, buddy? I mean, you rigged me up, and now you're purposely oh, you not telling me where the stuff is. I, I don't want to wear that that shirt that you got me set up on. We got them. We using up. these these Guggenbaits, bunker logs. 
Huh, got him fired up. All right. Are we yeah, using longer logs? Yes, exactly. That's what you want. Oh, yeah. No, that doesn't count. Nope. We called it. We called it. You son of a gun. On that note, I think we have uh, we've tested out the, the new electronics. Unreal. Uh, a nice three to three tie. Hey, that's it right there. Look, I'm, I'm proud of you for lipping that fish. That's a good lip. Thank you. You did a good job on that. I mean, we tore him up pretty good. We caught him pretty good for like, how long were we right here? Less than an hour. Yeah, less than an hour. And that's what's so cool. It, it really is. When you pulled up in the academy, and you and you had this thing, I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> what this sucker you gotta get me into? I'm like, you son of a gun. Dude, so. here we are. We're rolling. All right, well done. Thank you. We're John fishing out here in Texas. We tried out our electronics. We did. We got out here. Uh, no fun. mishaps. Six fish. Could add a few more, but we're dialed in now. John boat locked in on the bass. Let's go. Let's grab something to eat. Call it a night. Mm.